Hey everybody, welcome to Merchanaries. Today I'm going to show you how to make registration marks for your vector separations. This is the fourth video in our vector separation series, so if you want to learn how to make a base or separate your vector artwork, there are links in the description. To get started, remove the fill and switch to your stroke by pressing X. Now set the stroke to registration. Go to your preferences by pressing Command K and make sure Scale Strokes and Effects is turned off. Now draw a circle by pressing L and dragging a circle out. Hold Shift while dragging to make a perfect circle. Next, you'll draw a line with the pen tool by pressing P and placing an anchor point. Hold Shift when placing the second anchor point to draw a straight line. Make sure the line is a little bit longer than the circle. Select both shapes and press Horizontal on Line Center in your Align Tools. Make the line longer if you have to by holding Alt as you click and drag. Holding Alt allows you to extend both sides simultaneously. Copy and paste your line in place and rotate the copied line while holding Shift to rotate it 90 degrees. Now group your shapes using Command G. This is the most common registration mark and it's used to register multiple colors. Another type of registration mark is a simple centerline mark. Simply draw a straight line with the pen tool and make sure the stroke is set to registration. This mark is used for single color designs. The final common registration mark is a level line. Draw a long horizontal line and copy drag your centerline mark to both ends and the center of this horizontal line. This mark is used as a level for prints that must be absolutely straight. When setting up the print, a printer can use this line with a straight edge to make sure that the print will be straight. If you're not getting prompts to snap to points like I am, go to View, Smart Guides, and turn Smart Guides on. Smart Guides will help you snap to points and line objects up. Now in separations preview, we can see that the marks print on every channel. Always make sure that you're using the registration swatch when you're working with registration marks. If you accidentally set your marks as black, the marks will not print on anything except for the black channel. Save this file somewhere easy to find and copy your marks over as needed. In the next video, we'll show you how to add registration marks and taglines to your vector separations. Don't forget to subscribe for more time lapses and tutorials, and if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching!